Hey everyone, my name is Marshall Mine, bringing you another live commentary. And in this commentary, I'm going to try to show you guys how to use Benson Henderson correctly. Now, he is a fighter that has been requested quite a bit. And uh, I understand why a lot of people might be having some problems using Benson Henderson. He He's not a very easy fighter to just pick up and, and get used to. Um, his movesets are kind of weird. He has this really... Um, short punches that are not really uh, long but um he's a very solid very very solid fighter to use in ea sports ufc and uh, if you use him correctly you can do some serious damage now the one thing i really like about benson henderson is his ground game he has a really nice ground game and he has some really really nice kicks and uh he can pretty much compete with everyone um the problem starts when you start trying to use benson henderson the same way you would try to use a uh, nate diaz or Gilbert Melendez. You can't use those fighters the same way because like I said, Benson Henderson doesn't have the same punches. He's not as fluid on the feet and his punches kind of fall short because they have no range to him. So uh, there we go. Right now we'll be fighting Nick Diaz and I'm gonna try to show you guys what you don't wanna do when you have Benson Henderson and what you do wanna do when you have Benson Henderson. You, you really have to fight a certain way. Now, for me personally, I don't really like fighting in the Southpaw stance so usually I will switch my stance um, when I switch my stance like that kind of makes things a, a little bit weird but uh so what most people would do with Benson Henderson is they will try to they'll try to throw those hooks right there see that see what I'm doing they will back up a little bit they will, uh, they will come in and then throw those hooks now those hooks right there I mean they might be powerful but they have no range to them See, you can't chase down anyone when you fight like that. He can just simply back up and nothing else will land. Even though this guy pretty much sucks. So the one thing, what you want to do with Benson Henderson is you need to use his strengths. You need to use what he does well. And one of them are throw the straights and leg kick. His, his leg kick is really good. It's the ankle leg kick. It's pretty low. It's pretty fast. It covers a lot of distance and it catches a lot of people off guard so throw those leg kicks and what I also like to do is when they're far I hit them with that because what I'm doing when I'm also fighting in this game is as I'm, I'm trying to finish you but I'm also keeping my eye on the scorecards I'm trying to make sure that at every every stage of the fight I'm winning it I'm landing the significant strikes I'm landing the hardest shots so when you do that, you stay out of you stay out of range, you stay out of distance, but you're still doing damage. You're still doing damage to your opponent. You're still winning the fight. Now I don't like standing with Benson Henderson. I'm not a guy that likes standing with Benson Henderson. I like to take the fight to the ground. And when you take the fight to the ground, that's when you're using Benson Henderson correctly. You have to fight like a complete mixed martial art artist with Benson Henderson. You know, this guy, he's he's winging these shots. So we take him down to the ground and we start working some ground and pound. He's blocking that pretty well. So we're gonna have to do something to get by. Get to side control, you get to mount with Benson Henderson and that's when Benson Henderson is a problem. When you mount people like this, that's when he's a huge problem. Because of his ground game, he has pretty high stats on the ground keep pounding them out like that keep pounding them out like that you, you know I really wish everybody would work on their mount it's not that it's not um it's not that big of a deal try to work on it get better at it and fight is over like that Holy fuck. <laughs> and this guy was talking but um that's the correct way to use Benson Henderson if you try to use Benson Henderson standing on the feet then you have to kind of play a counter striker kind of kind of fight you know you got to move backwards a little bit pick your shots use those long range weapons use his leg kick use that side kick um throw the straights occasionally but for the most part you you, you have to use him like a complete mixed martial arts fighter you got to take people down you got to put them in the clinch you got to rough them up you got to use your ground and pound and you got to get him out of there it's sort of how you should use gilbert melendez but with benson henderson is a little bit trick trickier so I'm going to get one more fight with Benson Henderson and then I'm going to end this video. 
I hope this is informative. I hope it's uh, it's helping some of you. I know it's kind of it's kind of difficult to 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 get a hang of it if you've not been playing the game, you know, long enough. But with practice, you would definitely get it, especially the ground and pound one. You you definitely have to use your ground and pound with Benson Henderson. You gotta get the fight to the ground. You got to you know you have to you have to get on top. You have to bully them a little bit because his ground and pound is very very good. He's He's amazing. His top game is awesome. So, try to get one more fight with Benson Henderson, and then we're going to call it a day. Now we're fighting Carlos Condit, and if you know how Carlos Condit users usually fight, it's it's not, it's not fun at all. Also, one of the reasons why you would want to grapple with Benson Henderson is because of the block. If your opponent is blocking a lot, then that kind of... You know, you just have to grapple because you won't be able to hit him, especially guys who are using Carlos Condit, who's like so tall and so difficult to reach. So right now, he's in front of me. When he's in front of you, that's good. That's good because now I can mix punches together. See what I'm doing? Oh, now he's backing up. Sorry about that. Now he's backing up. Fight over. So when they're in front of you like that, you can you can mix those punches very well. You put them up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, hook, 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 hook. You can focus on the body and you can get them out of there real quick if they're standing in front of you. If they're not standing in front of you, it's a different story altogether. Wow, that was quick. Let me get one more. I know I said I'm gonna get one more, but let me get one more and then I'm gonna end it. That guy just stood right in front of me. So he pretty much made the striking game easier. And if you're not a good striker and you're standing in front of you know, in front of someone like that, that usually happens. You get finished very quickly. I was thinking he would he would fight like a like a normal Carlos Condit user, you know, backing up all the time, throwing those long side kicks to the head and side kicks to the body. I thought he would fight like that. I didn't I didn't think he would stand in front of me trying to block. And uh, you know, a lot of people will complain about those body shots, but it, it's the way the game works. It's one of the the strikes that gets through the block. If someone's constantly in front of you, standing there trying to block over and over again, you got to go to their body. You got to pound that body, pound the body, and get them out of there. If they want to stand in front of you, then let them stand in front of you. So try to get one more. Let's look at some of he his uh, his abilities. If you look right here, let me show you his stamina. It's pretty good. 85, 83, pretty good. He's a solid guy. You can go full five rounds with Benson Henderson all the way. He's just like Gilbert Melendez. Solid, solid, solid fighter in the game. You just have to get used to the way his moves flow. You got to get used to playing with the guy. So let's get one more fight, and then we're going to call it a day. We're fighting Robbie Lawler. Now, Robbie Lawler has a lot of power, so... You, you know, you got to be real careful when you're in, on the inside with Rob because he will rock you. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. Come on, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. So Robbie is a southpaw. I'm a southpaw. I'm going to switch. I don't want to be a southpaw. I don't like fighting in, in the southpaw stance. And he switched too, which is good. God dang it. There we go. So, right now, he's winging it. I like throwing those straights to the body to kind of keep him in check. Boom. Especially after a parry, you hit it. Hit it. So, like I said, I don't really want to mess with, with, with Robbie because I don't have the strikes to deal with those hooks he's throwing right now so with Robbie we have to fight like a complete mixed martial artist see he's winging it and he's hitting me leg kick hit him with those leg kicks back up hit him with it again when he thinks he's at, he's at range you hit him with it when he comes close you hit him with that circle get in the middle of the cage Hit him with that leg kick again. Get him desperate. Maybe he can throw some of his leg kicks. Hit him with it. 
There we go. Keep fighting like that. Keeping our distance. Hit him with that leg kick again. Now I'm what I'm doing, trying to make sure that I'm staying good. Ha! There we go. Trip me. Get him down. Pass. Let's get up. Let's pass that. Let's pass that guard. And we're gonna try to get to Mount, but he's blocking well. He knows what's up. Now, what I'm doing is, and I got his back. This is how you fight with Benson Henderson. You have to be dominant. Get him down like this, stay on top, beat him up. His ground game is very, very solid. You don't really want to miss too much with the striking if you don't have to. And the fight is over. Good fight, buddy. There you go. So, practice that. Try to fight like that. Um, if you get good at it, Benson Henderson is a force. He's a force. He's a force in the welterweight and light and lightweight division. He's he's a force. He can compete with anyone. In the hands of a good player, Benson Henderson is nasty, especially with the ground game like that. You do not want to have a, a Benson Henderson player who's good on top of you. So if you get good at that, you can win a lot of fights with Benson Henderson and. Uh, you know, I hope this has been informative. Let me know if you guys still have any questions. That's, that was three fights with Benson Henderson. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about Benson that I did not cover in this video. And I'll be sure to answer it in the comment section. Um, Once again, thanks for watching, guys. I, I really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe.